and his name is John C. Um, it's Saturday night. Are you ready to sew? Um, honestly, I have no plans for this video. Let me figure that out. I don't think you understand just how much I have to upcycle. It's like a whole, like a whole bag of just fabrics. Oh my God. And then it's not even all of it. Like I have this box. Oh my God. If you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and do that because you can be reassured that my videos will literally never end. <sighs> We're gonna have fun though. It's gonna be a f I have no idea what I'm doing right now. You know what? This looks intriguing. Let's just freaking go for it. Here's the story on this top. I got this from the thrift store years ago and you can see it's huge. I just could not get over this print. It's like Dalmatian with like 80s vibes with all these bright neons. And I never thought of upcycling it. I used to wear it and just, it just doesn't. It's just way too big. We're gonna upcycle it. I'm a huge fan of With Wendy. If you've never heard of her, you probably should. She is like so good at what she does. Everything she makes looks perfect. Unlike me, you know, I'm just doing me. But she recently did an upcycle of like a Dalmatian looking top. And I thought that I could kind of see if I can come up with my own design that is inspired off of her upcycle. Let's go ahead and draw up a design. I'm kind of worried about doing this upcycle because this top is kind of like a silky polyester and that's pretty hard to work with. Holy cow, look at this top. It is so cool, it's free people. Inspo. Also this little number, wow. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I have been sitting here for a very long time because I'm scared. To start. Oh, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. I have a lot of options, you know, but I think the one thing that I really want to do is make, make the one the thing one that I really want to do, do is is the one thing is make is make it an off is make it off. Okay, I swear I do not do drugs. Mozzarella. Is make it off the shoulders with some elastic. And you know what? We will just have to go from there and decide what the rest is gonna look like after that because I can't decide right now. It's gonna look like after that. I mean, this is what I have right now and that's, I don't even think that I like that. So, cool. Okay, I'm like, terrified to work with this material right now. <sighs> Send good vi vibes. Send good vibes. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing about what just happened. It went great. <laughs> it's going great. Basically, I just cut off the top, sewed some elastic in there. So Got rid of the buttons here and just stitched it right closed. I think it looks good af, but it could look better af. I don't think I'm using that right. Okay, I'll show you the bottom. It's just, it's very boring. I need to do something. I don't know yet. I want to do something with it to make it look cooler. Just, okay, I'm clearly very tired. I hope that we have a great day tomorrow. It's Christmas morning! We literally never get snow. This is the only way I know how to react. Are we gonna get dressed now? I forgot I have to shower. So I'll see you in like three hours. I'm sorry, you're here for the sewing, aren't you? Just. 
give me a minute, okay? I just, I need to get ready. So I had like the dankest breakfast this morning. Dankest. I treated myself to some coconut yogurt. Yes! That stuff does not come by easy. I had to go to Whole Foods to get that shit. And oh my God, coconut yogurt with bananas, cacao nibs, cashew butter, chia seeds, and even some more cacao powder on top. Wow. Hashtag blessed. That was amazing. Hashtag. So delish. My Tums is so haps right now. Day two, I'm looking like a damn princess. <laughs> It's the first time I showered this week. <laughs> it's Saturday night. Ooh. I'm still stumped on the design. For the sleeves, I'm going to cut the cuffs off right here. It's kind of pleated right here, so hopefully that'll expand pretty wide because that's the look that I'm going for. Hem, hem those up. What I'm gonna do is make kind of like a, a puffer-ish sleeve. Does anyone like my vintage Reds tea? Thrifted it, you know it. I'm going to take the sleeves and kind of put some elastic, some elastic like right here on the inside. The elastic will be right here on my arm. It'll kind of be a bit puffy and then the end will be flowy. That's what I'm going for, okay? Don't quote me on that, just be supportive. Look at that. It looks real good. Cannot say that was the easiest thing I've ever finagled under my sewing machine, but wow, it looks cool. Oh God, my hair. Ah! Oh, oh no. This looks super great. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm not naked, I swear. I'm not naked. Hilarious. <laughs> To finish it off, I think I'm just gonna seam rip half the way up from the bottom and then just tie it in a knot. Kind of like make it a crop. I cannot believe how quick this was. I mean, I especially, I was so nervous for this. I'm scared. Send good vibes. I don't know yet. It's a good day. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Be right back for the reveal. <laughs> I think it's cool. Again, this is inspired by With Wendy. She's amazing, I love what she does. And I had this and it really reminded me of the one the polka dotted upcycle that she recently did. So I thought, why not? Why not try and kind of create my own design inspired off of hers? So I did that. Tag her, we should all tag her so that she sees this video. Cause I'm a huge fan and that would be really, really cool. Now I'm so nervous. What if she's watching this? Hey Wendy, huge fan, love what you do. This is inspired off of you. Anyway, guys, sincerely appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I have one billion more things to upcycle. So just, you know, do that, do that and I'll be back soon. Peace and blessings.